I am going to show how you can install Mac OX Lion for your Windows 7 and I am currently doing it on a Sony Wire laptop and because I tried it to boot but it's not coming here uh, because some of the boot menus are locked in Sony Wire and if you go in Toshiba and things like that Laps like that you, you can easily install on the desktop or laptop in an Intel version. First of all you have to download the Mac for Windows. You, if you go in the torrents and search you can see the Mac OX and if you download it here and it comes with the instruction. He's pretty good. He done all perfectly and I tried it. But the only problem I face is I couldn't do it from the boot as there was some changes need to be boot changes need to be made in the boot menu what I could do is I eventually could uh, do it virtually using the Oracle virtual studio uh, for if if you are facing the same problem you can do the same you'll get the same effect as using the Mac but it will be a virtual thing so you can use uh, download the virtual box the Oracle just search in Google and you can download it I already downloaded just looking for the file and yes yeah, the virtual box so if you open it did I remove it this is how Yeah, you can easily download it and uh, install it virtually. So let me install. Let me install the virtual machine. So the virtual box. Click next. That's all right. Next, I'll click on the bank. What in a space? Just gonna change the folder. Takes a couple of minutes to install. Yeah, start Oracle. I already downloaded the other Mac for the Windows so I tried it from the boot but I can't so I'm doing it virtually I'll show you how to do it if you click new and next you have to select Mac OX it's from here and you can name what you going to name it whatever it is and just I got 6 GB RAM so I'm equally dividing it about 3 to 40 yeah that's fine I'm giving it a 3 GB ROM to support the things and yeah that's all I started with uh, yeah virtual disk image that's fine and dynamically allocated that's fine and you can I'm just going to give an anti GB for the space and I'm going to select the file mm, which was in the Mac. Yeah, yeah, save it over here. Change where we are. Next, I'm going to create it. Yeah, before you start creating, you need to go to the settings. It's advanced. Building is car over here. 
Uh, if you go to system, yeah, change the uh, put the first CD as the first boot device, and if you go, it's a bit low the video integrity. So I'm going to maximize maximize it and enabling the 3D acceleration. The rest of the things are fine, I think. Yeah, the audio. The only thing is that when you try the first time on your virtual, and I'm going to start it. Yeah, press start. Or so next year. Installation media. You have to go and find the file which you where it's ISO image so either from the DVD where you have or the downloader file which I have shown you from the pirates when you download this one where when you download this app this one you can just go to the file and select it and you can click next start If you press the start button, you will be directed to a virtual box and this is the OS ISO image so I'm going what I'm going to do is and you have to press enter. So now the IO ISO device is booting up. It takes about 20 minutes to come around. Let's see how what's going on. Just a second. It's loading now. Now you have to select the language. I select that's English. Come install MacOS. Continue. And before you going to agree, go to utilities and this utility select the hard drive and go to your eyes and just erase and erase it. And you can name HD Then only it will rename, that's why I'm just doing it once more If you do it like that, Macintosh yeah, and you can close this one and you can agree now. So, click it and install. Now it's installing, it's taking, it takes about 15 minutes, 16 minutes, depends upon your speed of your computer. Time remaining is less than a minute now. So. You're showing the devices now. USB devices.
No. Must be said that. Must be checked. Okay. Let's check. Let's two seconds. it will boot from the, because I put the boot so it will boot from the CD so I'm just going to start it again I took the CD off so now it's now going to boot again When you when you start it, it will come with which language you want. It does English. When it is finished, uh, you'll be asked to select the country. U.S. or British in my system it doesn't matter. It's the same. Transfer. You can enter your ID, apply ID, or create a new one. And press continue. can name your Mac this one. This one not a it is near a possible And creating a code. I opened several other programs, that's why it's a bit slow. Start using. Learn. So it's the Mac OX Lion. If you go in there about this Mac, it's the same anyway. It's a key stroke. Just to identify the keyboard with the shift is uh, it take some time. You can show you just close up. It's not popping up. 
so let's take to show you because I was I'm running uh, other program with this that's why it's a bit slow at the moment you can go to the app store I chat FaceTime but my webcam is not recognized I think it's because mm, I'm in the using the virtual one that's why no camera was can connect it's not do showing you can go to my I think rest rest of things do work mm, Safari it's the same speed faster you have the same sound effect that's my channel Alright then, thank you very much for watching my video. If you got any doubts, you can just mail me. Or you can comment on my video. No, I reply you. Cheers, take care, bye.